Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Surlim Ultimate, where we are going to be doing some more dumpling farming. As you can see, we've got our, we've still got our full dumpling party, and hopefully things go a bit better than last episode. So last episode wasn't bad. We found quite a bit of other stuff, you know, secondary objectives. We actually completed the white set. Good job us. And I started on the uh, phase warrior set, even though it turned out to be not as great as I uh, thought it would. I read it wrong. I thought it was going to say a chance to double your resources, but it's just a, just a 5% like just a 5% multiplier. I don't know, maybe when we get all three multipliers it'll feel like it's doing a lot more, but for now it's not really doing much for us. Nevertheless, we have got to be, uh, got to keep going, and for the first few rounds, of course, I'm gonna have kindling, and we don't have our, all our projects running. We've got a forage mission to do. Assassination I think is already in the works. Spelljum materials. We'll do the gambling at the end. Fortunately we have no arena combat this time around. So let's not even uh, uh, let's let's be glad. Let's not even worry about it. Um, but we, we do have to start a project of some kind. Oh, we might as well just get these last couple hunts out of the way. So I was ex I was trying to explain something last episode in terms of hunts, and I was explaining it poorly. Um, and what I was saying was, when we get to 100 hunts, we don't need to do hunts ever again. But, but that's not quite true. We might still have to hunt specific creatures if we really need a specific card or trait material. But what I was trying to say was there are sets of achievements for... Uh, doing projects um, and uh, they're under this uh, title so for instance for uh, doing uh, uh, hunting missions we've done a lot of key forge missions we've done already more than 100 off and the others as well you know experiments forage raids uh, assassinations and I'm kind I kind of want to so the one type of the two types of missions that we always want to have running are uh, um, yeah let me let me just look this are pilgrimages and key forges we're gonna have these running even like well past the point where both of them hit a hundred just because of how useful they are the rest of them uh, aren't so useful in the sense that they don't give us something that immediately is helping us. Hunt missions are satisfying in the sense that they help you get your uh, creatures to rank S, and each creature you- I mean, that's just- like it, it feels good. But there are other ways to get knowledge, and all of these other missions, um, there are other ways to get the materials you would get from raids, the materials you'd get from experiments and forages. So those missions, uh, along with hunt missions, I guess, kind of, I'm doing just for the sake of getting those knocked off, uh, crossed off the achievements list, and we are about to cross hunting missions off that list. I, I now that I've explained this, I, I don't know if it made any more sense than last time, but, you know, this is this is my line of thinking. Anyway, similar to last episode, we're going to do three regular rounds. And whatever we find, we find. We donated, right? Uh, oh, I'm barely taken ten steps in this realm, and I'm already forgetting what I what I have and haven't done in the uh, few seconds I've been here. All right, or 
right, let's... Let's gather ourselves and uh, do a good job. The Ooze Medusa enemies are really annoying because they uh, have a chance of avoiding both spells and attacks. So I remember last episode I was having trouble hitting them with my uh, firestorms. And I was like, oh, I'll change the macro. But no, there, there is no way to deal with them unless you either find some way to disable their trait which is difficult to do or if you uh, hit them with indirect damage which would which would require a completely different build so let's just uh, let's just hope that we don't come across too many of them all right oh you're a mimic good for you buddy good for you Speaking of Mimics, do you remember like a hundred episodes ago when we found the card for the basic Mimic? And I remember remarking at the fact that the Mimic set seemingly had three other cards in it. Well, I finally looked it up. I suppose I didn't have to look it up if I had been paying attention at the things we'd been unlocking. I would have uh, seen it ages ago, but uh, out of the four remaining mimics, one of them is a uh, sorry. Out of the three remaining mimics, out of the four total, the one of which we've already seen, one of them is the Pandora. Which uh, no idea how we're gonna go about finding the card for that, but the other two are creatures that you just unlock. I think either from guilds or god shops. So... That's a... Uh, something... that I should do... at some point. Because the mimic cards are good... Like, the bonuses you get for completing the mim mim uh, the mimic set are quite interesting. And here's a vegetable dumpling. Hey, look, we can summon another one. We fought one of these guys previously, but I uh, forfeited the battle to that dumpling for the purposes of getting one of the uh, special achievements. All right. I think we can... Uh, Safely just leave this realm. Do we want to, like, fully uh, clear it? Is that a thing we're interested in? Well, we should at least poke our head into you know, these big rooms. See what's going on. A couple of these phase warriors go down in the process. No cards, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, what is your deal? I think at this point, yeah, there's... Okay, fine, I'll see what's in that area. I'll see what's there. Answer is a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Fine, we'll kill you. Kill you. We found quite a few cards last episode, but at this I was also farming for quite a while. I only showed you the highlights, but I think I was there for about an hour and a half total, so I cut out a lot of it. You're welcome. And uh, one upshot was that we found a lot of cards and now are over 200 cards. Close to 50%, not quite, uh, sorry, close to 20%, not quite at 20% 20, uh, 20 one-fifth. You can see the math mistake I was making. 
We are close to a fifth, but not quite, because there are over a thousand cards. 10.52 in total. But, you know, any milestone in terms of each hundred that we uh, cross off our list is going to be a it's going to be a major uh, achievement All right have we donated i have a feeling that we haven't But let's confirm that by talking to Mr. Oh no, we have donated. Hey, look at that! We even found a nether realm. What's in this? A bunch of garbage, okay. Alright. Yep. Yeah. These nether realms are so depressing when you do them on low level realms. Get anything for doing that encounter other than just like buffs and resources? I don't think so. But it's quick to do, so there's, I guess, no point not doing it either. these altars man where are they let's try and make some more progress on this on this set while we try and finish this realm quest And, as you can see, this is a very quick way to get through uh, hordes of low-level enemies. So, it's not a bad way of doing targeted farming for specific enemies. Of course, I'd like to be doing this on higher levels. But right now the main focus is this dumpling stuff, so this is just a uh, sort of a, a side goal to our main objective. Alright, let's carry on. Hey, we uh, realm quest and we can turn in one of our forge missions and a pilgrimage. Love completing pilgrimages. Alright, let's carry on. We'll kill a few of you guys, why not? Sure, I'll hit you as well. I'll see what's down here. The answer is nothing. All right, let's set up a couple more projects. Uh, where's the. Uh... Oh, there. I mean, since we've walked all the way here, we might as well summon some more enemies to keep ourselves company as we walk down. We won't kill all of them. We'll just walk as straight as we can to the exit. And we'll, uh... T hey! Well, there we go! There we go. Now, sadly, the rest of these are redundant, so I really would like to avoid as many of them as I can. I could forfeit! But gosh darn it, I'm stubborn. I've beaten this realm. I will walk all the way to the exit. 
You can't stop me. And yes, you, you can still forfeit even after you've beaten a realm. It will still bring your uh, fortune bonus all the way down. Not that that's really relevant, but you know, just something that you might want to know. Let's turn in a couple of projects. And then... I think we have to do another forage mission, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's start another forage. Start another pilgrimage. Pretty soon... In fact, already 38 is now the lowest level, thanks to all the, uh, all the farming I've been doing. So let's hit Morton up this time. And I think we've got one more uh, realm to do, right? Before we start going on speed mode. So let's, uh, let's just do it. Let's go for it. Already found one card, one another realm as well, but ended up being a useless one. Yep, already donated, all right. Gotta find crabs. be nice to find the candle as well. I guess the candle should be marked on the map, right? Or or am I wrong about that? Or is, th is that only certain realms? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Continue. All right. Sorry, I've gone a bit quiet just because. I'm already mentally preparing myself for the high speed farming that I'm going to be doing, which can get a little uh, draining, but it's, it's still fun. It gets draining when you're at it for a while and not finding anything. It's being at the mercy of RNG can uh, definitely take its toll. Hey, that's a nice little... Uh, bonus. I've got to be honest, I've not even been reading a lot of these uh, blessings I've been getting to the point where uh, hang on. to the point where if I or when I go back there on high level realms and when the stuff is relevant again, you know, because it's gonna help us win battles, I, I'm gonna have to literally read through the list to see, hey, hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? And you gave me a piece of garbage, okay. Okay. So let's, yeah, when I go back to these realms for high level stuff, one, two, three, four, already more than halfway through this other card set. Yep, when we go back to these realms on high level, uh, higher level play, it'll be... 
I'm gonna have to take a close look at the blessings we're unlocking in these realms just to see if maybe something really useful has opened up. And I'm gonna have to do this pretty much for every realm that we're in. So let's kind of go up and around. I won't kill every single one of these, I'll just kill the ones uh, closest to the exit and then I'll enter speed mode. I guess I'll kill a couple more. I guess I'll kill this cluster and then I'll head back. Okay, I'll, I'll, okay I'll, I'll hit these guys, and then I'll go back. And then I'll go back. It is really nice having them just die at, at the start of combat. Just that one button press that it's saving me might not sound like a lot, but when you're fighting hundreds of them, it really does make a difference in terms of how tired your uh, fingers feel afterwards. Yeah, let's immediately start another key forge. And at this point, it's now time for me to put things on pause. I'll be back when I have something noteworthy to share with you. Alright? See you then. Well, um... Sorry, I didn't show you the skin when the creature showed up. Because I... My eyes were glazed over. I genuinely didn't even notice we were fighting someone with a... Uh, special skin, but we found a phase warrior skin, Royal Guard. Let me, uh, just, uh, I'll show it to you from, uh, here. Right, so phase warrior. Golem, Minotaur. Here we go. So this is uh, the one we found previously. This is the one we see now. And that looks pretty cool, gotta say. Not the thing I was looking for. I mean, I guess even the card is a secondary objective. So in that sense, finding the uh, the skin is uh, about the same in terms of In terms of how much it relates to it. Okay, and once again, massive slowdown because of something Windows is doing in the background. I'm, I'm just used to it at this point. Not even gonna bother pulling up Task Manager. I'm just gonna kill this one last guy and then we're gonna go back to the, to the home base because I just realized I forgot to... Run one of my projects. And yes, I'm back farming in the uh, arachnid nest just because I want to get the favor up with Regalus just to see if maybe, if maybe, perhaps, possibly, we could, uh, we could unlock some bonus that makes nether portals more likely to show up. So what sort of uh, training are we on? We're on defense. All right, let's do training defense. And now I'm going to go back on pause, and I'll be back once there is something to show you. All right, see you in a bit. All right, taking things off pause, because we are about to hit, assuming there's something left in this realm. Well... We are guaranteed to hit the, 
to hit it if we complete the realm quest. We are about to hit the next favor rank with Regalis. So let's uh, see how this goes. Let's see what this gives us. I mean, I need to, f I need to find something to give me <laughs> these last 24 points. There we go. There we go. What do we get? All right, resources from battles. Not bad, I guess. But not terribly exciting either. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to that weird corner of the map. I'm just going to go home. Start a new project. Start another assassination random person. Let's do you. And yeah, I will be back when the next notable thing is about to happen. Or has happened. I'll see you in a bit. And, and within seconds of me pausing the video, we see this. I'll just grab a few things. We see this, which is drumroll, please. Garbage. Okay. Well, at least you tried. Oh, look, another vegetable dumpling. I didn't even summon the one from last time. So there's no point going after this guy. And again, there's slowdown. The game... Or, or Windows, I guess. Sped up for a bit, and it was nice. But now... I, like, I feel like I'm going to have to go into the settings and maybe... Like, with other programs, I can set times when I'm not using the computer when they can do update stuff. Like, right now, it's not even 8 p.m. It's, it's very early in the evening. It is very much in the time period when a normal human being would perhaps be using the computer that they own but but maybe that's just me i don't know i'm just a simple country boy just just trying my best but god it really is slow all right Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly try and end this realm. I'm, I'm trying something different. Instead of unequipping kindling, I'm keeping kindling e equipped. I'm trying to see if uh, maybe if I just instead of forfeiting, maybe if I just try and complete realms, maybe it won't be that much slower. Although right now it feels slower. Partially because the game literally is running slow right now. But also partially because it does involve extra steps. That you could simply cut out if you were uh, instead just forfeiting. Okay, this is a little bit excessive. What is going on? Let me just open up Task Manager. What are you doing, Windows? This time it is... a different Windows thing. Alright, whatever. You know what? It's not like I can actually do anything. I'm not gonna kill any of the processes. I don't want to break anything. Just let it do what it's gonna do. I don't need yeah. I don't need I don't have anything else open. I don't, like in, in, I don't have anything else open. It's just Windows and whatever weirdo stuff it's doing. Uh, 
I feel like I've been keeping <laughs> this recording going on a bit too long, so let me go back on pause, and I will be back once there is something else to show you. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, this might be the last thing I do in this uh, session. Although I might, well, I guess, I was, I was going to say I might stick around and finish the rest of the realm because I want to see what we get for rank 74, but we'll get that early. Okay, resources from resource nodes. Is fine, I guess. This is one of the nether realms that I do enjoy going into, even if it wasn't the one we were looking for. All right, let's let's finish this realm. Or you know what? Change of plans. Uh, you know, fine. Let's finish it. I was gonna forfeit, but then I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Although this is a very annoyingly laid out realm. And yes, I know the music is off. I will be keeping the music off whenever I'm doing these quick fire farming sessions because uh, otherwise, like, especially if I'm confining myself to one place, you know, the arachnids nest. Which I'll probably keep doing until we hit rank 100. And I think after rank 100, that's when the unique bonuses uh, kind of uh, stop. And then you just get generic loot bonuses. At least that's my understanding. We'll confirm or uh, disconfirm that when we hit rank 100, but that's probably not going to be for quite a while. Okay, where the fuck are all these cocoons? Okay, so these guys, if we're extra, extra lucky, we'll end with the one final card. Ooh, a dumpling appeared. But... Yeah, okay, fine. I guess we'll track it down. I was gonna say, but we'll, we're, we're gonna let it go because it's running away and we don't have time for... The, oh, is that a... I was gonna say, is that a treasure golem? But no, I think it was just uh, this creature. All right. Oh, hey, Panda. Oh my god, you just summoned more enemies, you piece of garbage. Okay, where are these quest objectives? Where the heck are they? I just want to finish this. I just want to finish this and leave. Oh my god. Ugh. The dumpling is still there. I don't want to go after it. Nah, it's, it's, it's going to be too much of a pain to corner it. We don't really need... Don't really need it. Oh my fucking god, where are these cocoons? Okay, there's one. Oh my god, what? Oh. 
What is with this realm? It's... I mean, doing this realm, uh, if nothing else, you see why it's my preference to forfeit and start uh, the whole realm again, rather than having to complete the whole thing, because, yeah, sometimes you just wind up with stuff like this. Impending doom, death. Okay, fine, I'll... Since the dumpling ran all the way here and this is probably a dead end... Fuck, okay. I would have been so annoyed if that looped around. Oh, you remember, good good for you, dude. Alright, that's it. Fine. Let's open that and now let's just leave. Let us just leave. Alright, alright. I killed this last enemy. Head home and let's start wrapping up. Before we start wrapping up, let me go to my uh, options, my audio. Bring the music back. Alright. Now then, what did we accomplish today? Well, we found some more cards. We're we are working on the Phase Warrior set, more than halfway there, only three more, and then this is going to be complete. Other than that, we found one skin, also a Phase Warrior skin, and that's about it. We did find, I think, three uh, nether portals total, but none of them had what we wanted, and I think, uh, on the whole, that's fine. I I don't mind grinding, especially when there are other side objectives that we can work on while we're doing the main grind. It's just it's just part of the game. So what I'm gonna do is we've done two, we'll do one more King Dumpling uh, grind episode, and then and then we'll go back for I think another three episodes of just playing normally. That is the plan. So, uh, I guess it's time for me to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, I hope it's, r like, relaxing, if nothing else, because we're playing in low-pressure situations. E even though sometimes I get frustrated, frustrated about things, it is still overall an, uh, a relaxing experience. And I hope it's relaxing for you to watch as well, but yes. That is going to be all. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time and I hope you'll join me for the next one as well. And until then, take care.